Hey everyone, welcome back to Counterside. So, many of you guys have been wondering on how to defeat Awakened Yumina in PvP. So, been, you know, doing a lot of PvP matches over the latter part of the week and uh, kind of found out the formula just yesterday or it w was it today? So, anyway, um, let's try to review uh, Yumina first in terms of uh, the buffs that she got with the recent update so in terms of the buffs that she got um, she didn't get any for her basic skills so it's still the same so her basic attack the one that got buffed is her passive special skill and ultimate skill so let's take a look at her ultimate her passive so it's valid hits of two this is going to be one of the skills that she's going to be you know she's going to be very good at when deployed charges forward and inflicts aoe damage then additionally attacks targets in a six meter radius after the every third basic attack she delivers an enhanced attack in gauntlet and inflict inflicts additional damage by 15 percent of her current hp on non-ship targets within uh, valid hit. So it's uh, there's also a benefit um, if you're going to change her into an HP set, which I haven't done yet, obviously. But for this passive skill, the one that's going to be a very big he headache is going to be the level 5 perfect evasion and attack speed. Plus 30% for 5 seconds after deployed. Same effect after passive cast. So... This one is technically a buff, guys. So um, one one of the things that you could um, bring in your teams in PvP would be a debuffer. Um, an example would be Alex. Um, Alex has a built-in debuff in her. Um, I think it's one of her passives. So again, uh, you can actually bring debuffers uh, for her. But again, it's it it would be really 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 require a lot of timing. So again, if you don't want to gam gamble on um, a debuffer, there are other two ways on how you can counter um, a Yumina. But uh, let's let's uh, proceed first to her special skill. So it's Sword Blaster. Eighteen seconds valid hits is three. Charges at the target and swings her sword, inflicting AOE damage on surrounding enemies. Then. She fires a blaster upward, inflicting AOE damage. The skill of the target, the skill of the target damaged by the last attack, sealed for six seconds. So combine this with your passive. Uh, when she comes in and she does her special skill, uh, you, you, you will no, you can't do anything. You are either you are either um, sealed for your skill, or she has evasion, a uh, perfect evasion. So again, nothing happens for those four or six seconds um, in regards to the sealed skill. So that is it. And her ultimate, um, this um, just a little bit of change for ultimate. So th the two skills that you have to look out for is the passive which um, gives her perfect evasion for four seconds and the seal skill for uh this is going to be six seconds so how do you counter her aside from a debuffer the other option that um that you may you know you may use is yumina herself awaken yumina herself so if you have her on your team um, so my suggestion is that you 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 know you uh, you change this these gears to HP. Um, it's an option, but if you want to retain attack speed or attack, then uh, be my guest. But again, if you want her to stay toe to toe with the other Yumina on the opponent side, then you have to change it to HP. And also for your team, um, let's go to my. Um, PvP team and let's do a match here. So for ranked the other tactic that I was able to deploy was um, As you can see here, this is my PvP team. What I did was I did a comp most most Yumina teams are Usually rush team. So once she is rushed there, there's really, really little option for you to to what you call this to 
um take her down especially when she goes out first so my 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 um strategy is after she does her special let's say for example you're in a rush after yumina does her special then i deploy my own serapel then i deploy a sniper or i, I deploy I, I i deploy the queen so um, I found it really, really effective as long as um, the queen cannot be reached by by Awakened Yumina in terms of her range, she will be good. So timing is definitely of essence. So um, low-cost defenders would be good between 3 to 4 cost. Serapel and Liumi are one of your options. And uh, for your sniper, again, I said the queen was an option. Zhao Lin is also a good option as a counter uh, with a with a defender in front. Then um, others are, you know, this uh, th these are a bit optional. I'm not sure if they are as effective as the Queen and uh, Zhao Lin. But uh, Hayami Sanai can also be a good option because she does uh, AOE for those who are rushing towards you. And also try Ludmilla because she has she has crowd control as well. Okay, guys, so I think we have here a rush team. We have oh, Yumina as her leader. So let's see the ship. I think she. this is a rush team. So we don't have a sniper here. Okay, but uh, we'll have to be... Uh, what do you call this? Be creative with this one. Hopefully, this did the trick in terms of the counter... And it did. So again, um, one of the options for you guys is to counter with a Yumina or, you know, have a sniper at the back. So that time it did work. Um, hopefully we could have another uh, matchup where I could use a sniper instead of another Yumina to counter that one. So again, as you can see, it's very effective. As long as you time it for perfectly and you deploy after her special skill, I think it would be, you know, it would be not a problem. So let's move on to another match and see if we could have another uh, match with Awakened Yumina for a rush team. Let's see if we could find another one, which I think we have. Hopefully this person can deploy a Yumina first there she goes so let's see let's see if I'm gonna test my theory if uh, this is going to work or not sleeping she put me to sleep That kind of worked. So just, uh, just uh, what do you call this? Just make sure that you are aware of support units because, as you can see there, Lily put me to sleep, and uh, I actually barely recovered from that. So as you can see there, um, counter with defender and sniper, um, it's not really 100%. It still takes up a lot of luck in terms of uh, if you can pull it off. But it's really the best option that you have, um, in my opinion, because um, of this one. So, it's just to uh, have to have your Yumina standby to sweep things up. So, there you go, guys. So, those are the examples on how you can counter a Yumina in PvP. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So, hope you found this um, video informative. And um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.